The Big Ten's decision to pull the plug on fall football was quick. That was announced on August 11, just six days after 10-game, conference-only schedules were unveiled. A decision to potentially reinstate the fall football season amid the coronavirus pandemic isn't moving as swiftly as some anticipated or predicted. We move into Wednesday without an official word from the conference if games will be played this fall. The delay followed notable comments from a couple key conference administrators and reports on Tuesday. In a development fitting for the public mess the situation has been for more than a month, Nebraska President Ted Carter was caught on a hot mic Tuesday morning hinting at what appeared to be an upcoming announcement. We're getting ready to announce the Huskers and Big Ten football tonight, Carter said to Bob Hinson, director of the National Strategic Research Institute, prior to a press conference, according to KETV in Omaha, Neb. Carter also said, it's a good move in the right direction. Big Ten to, move together, in decision on football season Carter later told KLKN-TV in Lincoln his comments were taken, a little out of context, in an attempt to backtrack what wasn't meant for public consumption. It's worth noting Carter isn't Nebraska's representative on the Big Ten Council of Presidents and Chancellors. That spot belongs to Nebraska Chancellor Ronnie Green. Shortly after Carter's comments, the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reported a proposal was approved to play football this fall, saying the latest proposal would mean teams playing eight games in nine weeks, starting as early as October 17 with the Big Ten Championship on December 19. The college football playoff selection day is scheduled for December 20. There was another notable administrator who chimed in Tuesday, this time very publicly, on the Big Ten's ongoing saga. Wisconsin Chancellor Rebecca Blank was asked about the conference indefinitely postponing the season while testifying about name, image and likeness to the U.S. Senate Committee on Health, Education, Labor and Pensions. There were several main reasons for that, Blank said via video conference. One was that we were uncertain that we could do the level of testing and contact tracing that we needed to keep athletes safe. Secondly, there was this growing evidence about heart-related myocarditis and that evidence was uncertain and it wasn't clear what it meant and we wanted to know more. There were a few other more minor reasons. Until we have answers to that, we will keep our season postponed. Once we have answers to that and to some of those issues and things that we have ways to deal with them effectively, we will try to plan a delayed season. Senator Tim Kaine, D. Virginia, asked Blank if reports the Big Ten is going to vote this week to reinstate football were true. She declined to provide a clear answer but put the potential for a reversal on developments in the last month.